The Imperial fleet was cleaning up the few rebel remnants. For only a moment, he thought about running. Ah, but heroes don't run, even when the world is against them. Even when their cause is hopeless and their efforts futile and pointless and useless and death painful and guaranteed, he's decided to stop thinking for a while. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Stories the Path of Destinies. Um, so. Um. Okay. Yeah, no, sorry. I was confused for a second. Anyways, um, today is probably going to be a slightly shorter episode because what I'm going to do is just finish this, like, little, uh, story path here. Hmm. He hadn't noticed that path before. Um, because what I want to do, and what I should have been doing from the start, is uh, just do one, like, path each episode, rather than this weird thing where I'm, like, ending just before the last bit. Um, or just before the last mission in every episode. So I'm just going to finish this, and then we'll end the episode there, and then next time I'll just do the entire path, uh, for the next story. Hey, come back. Don't run. Renara's arm was sore, his armor wet with raven blood. He was tired of death. But death was not yet tired of him. The rebels were losing. Badly. Yeah, that makes sense. In some other universe, Renaro thought, he and Zenobia had left Swordfu school together, taken other names and sailed off into the mists. But not this Zenobia. And not him. For him, there was nothing to do but forge ahead. Kill the Emperor and end this. Ah, him. That was fun. Let's do this again sometime. Spectacularly well, thought Renardo. Oh, that actually could have gone better. Goddamn enemies, and they're deciding to all attack me at once instead of attacking me one at a time like proper gentlemen. Honestly, who do they think they are? Using actual strategies. Who does that? Ah, oh, we're going up here again. Those things are, and why they keep lighting up so fast. I thought because the first time we went this path, we had the Iblis Stone, and so I thought that was doing it. But um, it just seems to happen, kind of whenever, whenever you run down that. Whoa. the Emperor's ship. Zenobia was there. Why'd you have to come back? She said, Guess I'm just serving my destiny. He shrugged. You don't even know what that word means. She said, Do you ever wonder if things have been different all the time? She said, 
and drew her sword. In the end, Renardo lay bleeding out on the deck. Zenobia sat by his side, upset. What are you so upset about? He asked. You wouldn't understand. Why? Why didn't you tell me you were going to leave school? I was afraid you'd convince me not to. I guess I'll have to buy you a drink in the halls of the Valiant then, he told her. And then he was gone. He should go back to some of the choices he'd faced before. Maybe there were new paths that had opened up. Like those doors he was opening up all over the map that took him to new treasures and around his enemies. But he'd learned another true thing. Zenobia still had feelings for him. Okay, well, there you go. We've learned what all four of the truths are. Um, I don't know what use we'll get out of that, but next time we'll start a different path and see what happens. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.